Okay, so this is the Vertex AI Search and Conversation Console, and I'm going to create a search app. Here I have the Enterprise Edition features enabled. This is what gives us extractive answers, email search, and website search. I also have advanced LLM features, which gives us search summarization and search with follow-ups, which we'll be taking a look at today. I'm going to give my app a name. I need to provide the company name here and the location for your app. I'll leave it as global. Then I need to create a data store. Here I have a couple of options. I can create website URLs. Then my search app will be searching through website contents. I can also search through BigQuery datasets, or I can search from unstructured data in cloud storage, which is the option that I'm going to select. There's also an API for manual data import. Now here I'm going to leave the unstructured documents option selected. You can see that there are a few other options here, like JSON for structured data, JSON for unstructured documents with metadata. This is essentially the same as unstructured documents, but then you have the option to add metadata in JSON. You also have the option to add a CSV file with structured FAQ data. So these would be question answer pairs. But again, I'll leave it as unstructured documents and I'll select a folder that are already created with three PDFs, the Alphabet 10K annual report, the Google diversity annual report, and the Google environmental report. Now select the data store that I just created and click on create. Now the app has been created, but it takes some time for the documents to be indexed and to be ready for search. So pause the video and come back when it's ready. Now the indexing has completed and we are ready to test our search engine. So to do so, we'll go here to preview. That will open a user interface for us to search through our documents. And here I'm going to type my first question. So here on the top, I get a summarized answer that tells me that Google makes money primarily by delivering both performance and brand advertising, Google search, YouTube and network partners, and also from Google play, et cetera, et cetera. And notice that I'm getting a citation here to a document where the answer is coming from. That happens to be the 10 K annual report over here. I also get bolded elements here the highlights from the document, from the source of truth, where those answers or those keywords are being found. Now, another neat feature is the ability to ask a follow-up question. So let's ask. This is similar to a conversational interface where I can ask a question by maintaining the previous question as a context. So in this case, it knows that I'm asking about Google Cloud's uh, revenue or how it makes money. And it's answering me here by explaining how Google Cloud makes money, essentially. And also, once again, I'm getting the citation to the document where it's coming from. Let's now ask a new question. So it gives me a very crisp answer here with the number that I need. Once again, with citation, and I can go and inspect right from the snippet here, our source of truth and the answer, and we can see that it matches nicely. I'm going to now ask another question. Once again, a crisp answer and a follow up. Now, these were all questions related to the annual report. Let's now ask a new question related to the diversity annual report. Here's telling me that in 2021, which is the year of the report, Google had its best year for hiring people from historically underrepresented backgrounds. Giving me some stats as well, all coming from the document here. Let's ask another one. 
So I happen to know Google set a 1 million students goal in 2019, and I wanna see if he has met that goal, and it's telling me that it actually exceeded by having 1.4 million students, including 47% from underrepresented communities, and so on and so forth. Now let's ask questions about the third document. So it's telling me that $5.75 billion in sustainability bonds were issued. That's exactly what I was looking for. A slightly more complex query, but I'm getting here the correct response. So hopefully that gives you a sense of how, how it works. It's basically an out-of-the-box search application, very much Google-style web search results. There is a ranking model behind this. All the complexities of a search application, like creating indexes, embeddings, doing retrieval, and the generation of an LLM summarized response. This is all taken care of by Google in this product. And as you saw in the beginning, it was fairly easy to set it up. You really just need to point the search application to your data, which again, I'm showing here documents, but it could be websites, it could be structured data sources in BigQuery and JSON, CSV, and so on and so forth. But here we explore the use case of having documents and there are connectors available today in private preview and more that are coming and will become more generally available soon as well if you need to search data for example in SharePoint or Google Drive and a lot of other enterprise knowledge systems. Now before we end this I want to show you what's available here under configurations. And here you can choose a search type if you want plain search or search with an answer which includes the generative summary and search with follow-ups, which also includes the ability to ask follow-up questions. You can enable autocomplete, which will take a little while to start working as it needs to collect a number of queries to create some baseline, but that will give you then autocomplete in your search queries, much like it works in Google search. Here in the advanced tab, you get the ability to select or unselect enterprise and advanced LM features like you had in the beginning when creating the search engine. And here you have more autocomplete configurations to set. In the integration tab, you can extract the JavaScript code to embed this UI in your web application. Or of course, you can also just choose to use the API. And you get here a sample curl command to, to call the API for your search engine. And finally over here, you get analytics, which as a new search engine, I'm not gonna have much to show here, but over time, as you get search queries against your engine, you'll be able to see metrics such as search count, click-through rate, and a number of other things here in this dashboard embedded in the console. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.